Casing setting depths. Casing setting depths. The choice of setting depths for all the casing strings is a vital part of the well planning process. An incorrect decision with the casing setting depths too shallow could have serious consequences. An unnecessarily deep setting depth could have adverse economic consequences when considering the extra time needed to drill the hole deeper and the extra amount of casing required to be run and cemented. Deep casing setting depths. The selection of deeper casing setting depths will use different criteria to those used for shallow casing seats. Initial selection of the setting depth is made with reference to the anticipated lithological column, formation pressure, and fracture gradient profiles. Once all the information has been collated from offset well data a plot similar to that shown in the figure can be drawn up. By studying the geology and pressure profiles, tentative setting depths can be chosen based on the prevention of formation breakdown by mud weights in use in the subsequent hole section. From a well control point of view, it is necessary to determine whether this tentative setting depth will give adequate protection against formation breakdown when a kick is taken. A kick tolerance factor will normally be applied. Drilling mud window. The drilling window is the range of fluid gradients between the pore and fracture pressure gradients. If pressure in the wellbore drops below the pore pressure gradient, an influx is likely to occur. Circulating pump pressure. The pressure provided by the rig pump is the sum of all of the individual pressures in the circulating systems. All the pressure produced by the pump is expended in this process, overcoming friction losses between the mud and whatever it is in contact with. Pressure loss in surface lines. Pressure loss in drill string. Pressure loss across butt jets. Pressure loss in annulus. Pressure losses are independent of hydrostatic and imposed pressures. Circulating pump pressure. Pressure losses in the annulus acts as a back pressure on the exposed formations consequently the total pressure at the bottom of the annulus is higher with the pump on than with the pump off. Equivalent mud weight, ECD. The total pressure on bottom can be calculated and converted to an equivalent static mud weight which exerts the same pressure. As shown in the equations below. Circulating pressure will be affected if the pump rate or the properties of the fluid being circulated are changed. 